Hi again everybody and welcome to this week's edition of First Person, our weekly interview segment sponsored by the Buckeye Insurance Group here in Piqua and the Coberman Dickerson Agency representing Buckeye in Troy, Piqua and Covington. Our first wrestling interview this week uh, with a young man who just finished uh, competing at the state wrestling tournament in Columbus, Kyle Bryant from Piqua High School, 152 pound class, finished third in his uh, weight division this year. Kyle, thanks for the opportunity to be here and talk with you. Tell me a little bit about the experience of being at the state tournament because uh, I know it's a thrill to get there and be in, that many, in front of that many people. My sophomore year when I went, being in front of that many people was the most intimidating thing I've ever experienced in my life. But after that, just being there and wanting to show what I've done with the sport over the past 12 years just is a great experience knowing that I got to where I wanted to be with the sport. Tell me this, tell me why there are so many kids who do wrestling. Because it's not simple. They call it the six toughest minutes in sports. It takes a tremendous amount of, of commitment, working out, strength. Um, you go through a lot to, to wrestling. Tell me why it's so popular. I guess people just like the challenge of it. My parents, when I was young, wanted me to get into a sport where I was going to be able to take out my anger because my dad has anger issues. I mean, it works. And like, I couldn't play football. It was just too much of a slow pace. Wrestling, you're go, go, go. And you don't have to stop just because somebody on the other side needs a break. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned about being in, in the Schottenstein Center, Value City Arena, 15,000 people. That's a rush. When you, I, I don't care if you have been there before. When it's you went out there Saturday, talk about that. When I go out there my sophomore year, I made the mistake of looking up. And it's a rush and it's scary, but I go out there and I just find my parents. I just you know, try to imagine they're the only people there are watching me. And that helps out a lot, but it is a rush. And that, there's that many people watching you. And millions of people in Flow Wrestling and Ohio Cats watching you. Pretty good stuff. Isn't yeah, it? it's amazing. We're talking with Kyle Bryant, wrestler from the 152 pound class at this year's state tournament from Pickle High School. We'll be back with more. The nuts and bolts of wrestling with Kyle right after this. The Coverman Dickerson Agency, with offices in Troy, Piqua, and Covington, is pleased to be the sponsoring Buckeye Insurance Group agent for this first-person interview. For farm, auto, and homeowner insurance, Coverman Dickerson is one of the area's fastest-growing Buckeye providers with a history of service and competitive rates. And we're also an outstanding source of coverage for families with young drivers. For farm, auto, and home policies, call the Coverman Dickerson Agency, proud to represent Buckeye Insurance Group. Welcome back everyone to this week's first person interview with Kyle Bryant. We're talking high school wrestling, the state tournament. Uh, we, we talked about why kids wrestle, we talked about the thrill of doing it, but I have to ask you, to be at the state tournament and to wrestle from Pickle, you're there against a lot of schools that feature wrestling, Lakewood, St. Ed, the likes of the schools like that, uh, Graham, other schools across the state known for it. Do you feel like coming from Piqua or Troy or a school from Miami County that you're a little bit competing uphill against the likes of, of the kids who wrestle in those programs? In a way, yeah. I mean, those guys have Big Ten eligible coaches coaching high school kids. I mean, it feels like an uphill battle, but at the same time, it's what you got to do. Put in two, three practices a day to keep up with those guys, and then when you beat them, it makes you feel like you're king of the when you wrestle, it's a little bit different. You mentioned before uh, from football and basketball. It's an individual thing. Uh, it, it takes a particular personality. Can you describe a little bit about your personality traits as a wrestler on the mat in competition? I'm not going to lose. I mean, if I'm out there and it comes down to it, I'm going to do whatever it takes to win. Yeah. I'm not going to get dirty, but... Winning's the number one goal, and I can't blame nobody else. In football, you can blame the defensive line or the offensive line. In wrestling, if you lose, it's all on you, no one else. You talk about the fact that it's all on you, and yet, uh, we mentioned it before, that commitment of working out. What drives you? Uh, you know, Just the, six, the six minutes you get to compete, I understand that. But the lifting and the working out and that part like that, you know, kids don't usually like to work that hard. 
wrestling gods are insane. <laughs> I guess that's just a nice way of putting it. My, if I go whole with right, my dad would have a list of what my week's going to be. It'd be practice, workout, practice. And that would be what I would do before I could go to bed that night. You were there last year, you finished fifth. You come back and finish third this year. Again, I mentioned the fact that your wrestling in school is featured for wrestling. What's that mean to you to show that type of stepwise progression from your junior year to this year? I mean, it's great. I was probably 30 seconds away from winning a state title. If I could have won the semifinals, I could have possibly put it off. I mean, nothing I can do about it. And knowing that I made a step up is a great feeling for me. Will that 30 seconds haunt you for the rest of your life? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> well, but I'll move past it and win the NCAA is what I'm going to be hoping for now. How uh, what's your plans for next year? Uh, I'm going to North Carolina for college. And wrestle? Yep. And that's a big step too, isn't it? Yeah, my parents are really happy about and it. And what school in North Carolina? Either um, Chapel Hills or uh, Pembroke. I'm just like one of the D1 or two yet. Yeah. You got a little money for doing that? Yeah, that's the way to go. Kyle Bryant, congratulations on what you've accomplished in your three years at Piccola High School and in the state tournament. Yours is a good story, and thanks for sharing it. Thank you. That wraps up this week's edition of our first-person interview sponsored by the Buckeye Insurance Group in Piccola and the Cooperman Dickerson Agency representing Buckeye in Troy, Piccola, and Covington. For Kyle Bryant and our sponsors, Sonny Folks saying thanks for checking us out again this week on Press Pros Magazine. We'll see you next time for another edition of First Person. If you are looking for quality insurance protection from a reliable company sold by professionals in communities like yours, that's what you'll get from Buckeye Insurance Group. Buckeye Insurance Group, insuring the heartland. To find your local Buckeye agent, visit Buckeye-INS.com. Buckeye Insurance Group, insuring the heartland. Insuring the heartland.